Russia is making progress in its efforts to establish a center for low tonnage chemistry, which will be dedicated to the development and small scale production of lithographic materials vital to the microelectronics industry. The Russian Academy of Sciences, in partnership with the Ministry of Industry and Trade, is leading this initiative. The proposed location for the new facility is the Federal Research Center for Chemical Physics and Medicinal Chemistry in Chernogolovka. The Ministry of Education, Ministry of Finance, and Ministry of Construction have all been involved in the project's preparatory work for around two years. Scientific organizations within the Russian Academy of Sciences have provided close support to build the technological foundation for the initiative. The main goal is to decrease Russia's reliance on imported materials for semiconductor manufacturing. Lithographic materials, including high-purity photoresists and anti-reflective coatings, are essential for the production of all integrated circuits. A limited group of advanced chemical producers located abroad supply these materials, and they often face export controls. During semiconductor fabrication, High-purity photoresists and anti-reflective coatings are critical to the lithography process that creates intricate circuit patterns on silicon wafers. Photoresists are light-sensitive chemicals applied as a thin film on the wafer. When exposed to ultraviolet light through a mask, they undergo chemical changes that allow selective removal of material to form microscopic features like transistors and interconnects. Anti-reflective coatings are placed beneath or above the photoresist layer to prevent light scattering or reflection that could distort patterns. This ensures precise imaging at nanometer scales. Together, these advanced materials allow accurate pattern transfer required for fast, energy-efficient chips featuring ever smaller components. Russia views the establishment of this center as essential for achieving technological independence. The goal is to enable a transition from older 180 to 90 nanometer technology to more modern 65 to 28 nanometer nodes. That would support both legacy and newer semiconductor products. Frast M of Zelenograd is currently the only domestic producer of full liquid photoresists and related anti reflective materials. However, its production capacity and technological maturity remain limited when compared to leading global manufacturers. This forces Russia to rely heavily on imports that are uncertain due to trade restrictions and geopolitical pressures. Placing the institute inside a major Russian Academy of Sciences research center is a strategic decision. Lithographic chemicals are small tonnage specialty products made in limited quantities, but they must meet extremely high standards of purity and quality. The facility will provide immediate access to scientific expertise. It will also connect laboratory research with pilot scale and high purity industrial production. Clean room environments within the center support semiconductor grade manufacturing. Overall, the center will act as a bridge between scientific discovery and practical industrial output. Construction has not yet started. Although the project structure is completed, government ministries and research institutes are still coordinating. The key factor now is budget approval by the National Planning Commission. The project remains ready for launch, but implementation depends entirely on that final funding decision. Russia continues to depend heavily on foreign suppliers for semiconductor chemicals. Because of sanctions and export restrictions, supply remains unpredictable and costly. Strengthening domestic capability is therefore vital to protect critical sectors, including communications, aerospace, space, and defense. JSR Corporation of Japan is a leading global supplier of semiconductor lithography materials. With decades of experience in polymer science, it produces advanced photoresists such as ARF immersion, KRF and I-line formulations used in a wide range of high-tech industries. JSR is deeply integrated into the global semiconductor supply chain. Tokyo Oka Kogyo, also known as TOK, based in Kanagawa, Japan, is another pioneer in photoresist technology. 
Its extensive research and strong partnerships with chip makers place it among the leading global producers. Other major suppliers include DuPont, Fujifilm, and Merck Group in Germany. The global market for photoresists was valued at around 9.5 billion US dollars in 2023. The Asia Pacific region is the primary hub because of concentrated chip production and demand for miniaturized electronics. One example of anti reflective technology is Merck's AZBARC line of bottom coatings for sub 10 nanometer lithography. It highlights the critical importance of flawless material purity and stability. Specialty chemical production is now viewed as a strategic sector that supports not only lithography, but also aerospace, renewable energy, and other advanced manufacturing fields. The initiative aligns with national programs aimed at strengthening Russia's electronics ecosystem. It is considered a missing link needed to complete a fully self-sufficient semiconductor supply chain. If fully realized, the Center for Low Tonnage Chemistry could significantly reduce Russia's dependence on imported materials. It would boost secure semiconductor manufacturing. It would accelerate the conversion of scientific research into industrial results. It could also become the foundation for a broader domestic industry supplying both commercial and defense electronics. Despite its potential, the project faces challenges. Consistent and timely funding is essential for construction and development. Scaling from lab processes to reliable industrial production requires precision and strict quality control. The center must compete with established global suppliers in performance and cost if it hopes to be viable long term. The project reflects a strategic understanding. There can be no microelectronic sovereignty without materials sovereignty. Russian scientific and industrial institutions have prepared the groundwork. The sector is hopeful for government approval. If funded and implemented successfully, the center has the potential to become a major pillar of Russia's domestic semiconductor supply chain. It would reinforce technological independence and long-term economic resilience. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us